Hello, welcome to our channel. Today I'll introduce how to use Spiny Tooth Throttle correctly with ADC Adapter V2. There is content shown in the screen. First part, we'll show you two options for wiring. Option 1 is to solder the throttle cables directly on the adapter, it will be much more reliable. Option 2 is to lock the throttle cables in the adapter sockets. Please be careful, you need to twist the cables, make it thick, then put it in the sockets and lock it tightly, after locking, have to check if it's well pressed. Attention, you must cut off the unused cable's tail, to avoid short. Next part will introduce you some preparation works done on adapter, and then we'll show you the three types of calibrations of spiny throttle. Firstly, let's wire the Ubox controller with battery pack and motors, we need to use its power on and off later. Nextly, still preparation work needs to be done on adapter V2. Please check if your potential meters are tuned to max, in clockwise direction, if it's not in max, it may limit max throttle output. And also push the 3 volt 5 volt switch toggle to 5 volt, and also remember we wired the throttle S normal throttle cable on adapter, so here we need to check it's in 5 volt switch side. Then, connect U box and ADC adapter by UART cable, and also connect the adapter's 12 volt 3 pin port with U box's fan port. How to calibrate the throttle wheel trip? Firstly, we need to turn off throttle power by powering off U box. Then press the rear button and repower on it, wait for 3 seconds, the throttle internal light will blink orange, it indicates the throttle is in calibration wheel trip mode, then push the wheel forward and backward fully and repeat it more times. Then press the rear button until the light change to solid green. Then the wheel trip calibration is finished. This part we will show how to calibrate the throttle start point and end point why we need to calibrate it. Because of the default output voltage of Spiny 2 is 0.7 to 4.2 volts. Our U-Box and other VESC requires the start point is 0 to 3.3 volts. Most normal ESC in market requires the start voltage is from 0.7 to 4.2 volts. And in this video, we use it on adapter, it's wired with normal ESC throttle cable and used to control the ESC, it requires 0 to 4.25 volts. That's why we need to calibrate it. Please prepare a multimeter before the calibration. We will measure the throttle and GND pin later to observe the voltage changing status. Now let's begin, firstly, press the rear button and power on the throttle. Wait for about 6 seconds, when it's blinking green, then it enter in calibration start point mode. Then, use multimeter to measure the throttle and GND port in adapter. Push the spiny wheel forward, it will increase start point voltage, each step is about 0.025 volts. 
and pull the wheel backwards, it will decrease the start point voltage, still 0.025 volts a step. Observe the multimeter voltage changing status when you push the wheel. Now our target is to tune the start point to 0 volts, watch the wheel moving, I pull it back many times, it's still 0.01 volt, that's the extreme data, it's close to 0, it's also ok. Lastly exit the calibration mode. Press the rear button till the light becomes solid green. This start point is finished. Next, we also need to calibrate the end point. Still press rear button and power on throttle, wait for 9 seconds till the light is blinking red, then enter in end point calibration mode. Firstly measure your end point voltage. This measured data 4.26 volts is ok, next process only show you how to decrease and increase data. No matter how I push forward, it's still around 4.27, can't increase more, this is its up limit. Let's try reduce data by pull wheel backwards. And check the data now, it's down to 3.8 volts. You can tune it to your target end point in this way. Now let's get back to 4.26 volts for this adapter. Now it's tuned to 4.26 volts, it's ok, then exit the calibration mode. Next, we'll move on to next part, set up motors. Most people can do well in this part, please follow up the wizard step by step, fill in your battery spec and motor types accordingly. Motor setup is finished, we'll go to setup input. Go to click app setting in left column. Choose general and app to use as ADC. Remember to click to save app config. Click ADC in left column, go to setup mapping. And also remember to click RT and RT app in right column. If you missed this step, you can't check the mapping blue bar response in next step. Next step, we will use the spiny. Push forward and backward more times to check the blue bar response. Then remember to click apply and click to save an app config. And click General, choose Control Type. Also remember to write an app config. Input setup is finished, test your motors. <coughs> Lastly, we'll show you cruise function test.
Thank you for your watching. Watch our next video on how to wiring and setup in DESC directly.